Well, it is going to be a lot to talk about. This is, I'm going to, oh, I was going to say, let's skip this because I think there's a lot to talk about. This is 3K to go. And this is the point here. You can see one DSM rider on the front. Ineos have sort of finished, but holding position. And then these guys here, look at this. What's the most impressive thing for me, Robbie, is they decided to change sprinter in the last couple of kilometres. You know what that's like. The pressure's on you. The pressure's not. Well, I never changed plan and said someone else do it. <laughs> but you've got to have a plan A and a plan B and C down through however many you need to get it right. But but you know, changing around, that's a sudden burst of adrenaline for a guy like Donese to say, well, I'm going to get my chance and really well looked after. While over on the right-hand side, it was the long line of Groupama FDJ for this man here, Arnold Demar, Caleb Ewan sitting right in behind him and then Mark Cavendish back here and they are drag racing, just sort of sitting in the side slipstream of Group Armour. Also, Richese here from UAE and Gaviria here, so all looking to benefit off of this by the looks of things. So, oh, oh no, we'll yep. just skip to the heli shot, I think, from the overhead things. We have a lot to dissect during this. So this is coming in, I think it's roughly around 500 metres to go. We're going to move round to the left-hand side now, but this is the point here. So that is uh, the last man. I think that's Ballerini there. That's Cavendish sprinting to get on the wheel. This is the first lead-out man from Francis Jure. He's got um, the next rider behind him, then Demar. Caleb Ewan's moving up deciding whether to go this way or follow Damar. And then you've got Gaviria here, who is waiting to see where these guys go and whether or not to follow his lead-out man. And down here, Robbie. Roman Bardet, Alberto Dainese, all the way back here with the main sprinters we've been talking about all day up there. But what happens in a moment, there's a, you can see where Caleb Ewan was sort of hedging his bets. Do I go left, do I go right? And there was a little bit of mix up because they're coming together just there. Cavendish against one of the FDJ guys. And DeMar gets caught in the middle, coming all the way from behind. Dainese just starting to get back on terms with the riders at the front. Yeah, so here's Dainese. He's run wide in that corner. He's not had to free wheel around it like a lot of these riders did. Caleb's found himself on Cavendish's wheel. Now, the lead out man has finished from Mark Cavendish now. Richese's gone to the right hand side, and you'll see a little glance over for him to look round and go, oh, where is everyone? Caleb's there, Demar's here. I think that's Gaviria there, and this is the point where it all starts to get very messy. No one wants to start their lead out that early. Richese's done now, and Demar already starting his sprint, and he's got Gaviria glued to his wheel. Yeah, so Demar started early. He stated this morning, I like a long sprint, so he sees some space. And he says, well, I'll get out now while the getting's good. Gaviria, he's tracked him. He's right in the wheel of DeMar with a free lead out. Uh, Dainese, he's still behind Gaviria, but slightly boxed in behind Consoni. And the other side, the lead out men coming back. And as we move on, DeMar's already started to sprint. Gaviria's just waiting. He's already stopped off the wheel. Caleb Ewan, Mark Cavendish got delayed by his lead out man, so needing to kick harder than these guys. He's got to get up to speed with him. Caleb Ewan starting his sprint, got a little bit boxed in, but looking to go down this side. And then you've got the eventual winner here, just looking for that gap to go through still. And look how the gap opened up, but he started to ride into the slipstream. Slingshots over Consoni, who goes to the right. Danese now comes around the outside. So he didn't really ever pick up the slipstream of Gaviria, but just like out of a cannon, he came over the top at the end. And he made up two lengths in 20 metres. That's got to be a speed differential of about two or three K an hour at least. I think the most crucial part for me is coming round this corner. If we watch it, I'm going back a little bit here, but if we watch coming round to this corner, you can see the lead up man of Cavendish is going. Dainese is down here at the minute, but look at the speed that he'll carry round this corner. So that's around one guy coming out the corner a little bit. He's already accelerating into the wheels there already, and I think he just carries that momentum all the way to the finish line and just being able to slide his way through the wheels, use that slipstream with a bit of little bit, little bit of extra speed. Amazing sprint, Robbie, and he, he did, as we talked about, a Robbie McEwen this morning. And I, I think the one little extra thing that he benefited from in that sprint is coming to the line when you're coming with speed and you see, finally, the chance to win your first Grand Tour stage. There is a burst of adrenaline. You think, I'm finally going to do it. You even pick up more speed. You feel like you're floating. You saw the surprise on his face, but when you know you're in that situation, it's coming to you, you lift even more and he come over the top. Well, that's it. That's all we've got for you. Roman Marday, Pozzovivo, the new lead out men in 1T and DSM. That was the touchscreen sprint analysis of Robbie McEwen and Adam Bly from The Breakaway Show on GCN+. And you can get more analysis just like that before and after every stage of the Giro d'Italia.